Hey guys and welcome to How to Gastro. So in today's video we'll be exploring what is an albumin blood test. So let's get started. So before we get into the specifics of the albumin blood test itself, let's talk a little bit about what you can expect when your doctor orders this blood test for you. So an albumin blood test is a simple test that can be done at your closest laboratory or hospital. No special preparation is needed for an albumin blood test, which means you don't have to fast so you can eat and drink as usual before the test. During the test, a blood sample will be collected from you, which means a needle will be inserted into a vein, usually in your arm, to draw out some blood into a gold top or SST blood tube. This blood tube is then sent off to the laboratory where it is analyzed and resulted. So what is albumin? So albumin is a type of protein that is abundant in the blood plasma. It is produced by the liver and plays several vital roles in the body, including number one, maintaining the oncotic pressure, so albumin helps to maintain the oncotic pressure, which is essential for keeping fluid within the blood vessels. This prevents fluid from leaking out into the tissues, which could cause swelling, which is known as edema. Number two, it's important for transporting substances. So albumin binds to various substances in the blood, such as hormones, vitamins, drugs, and waste products and helps to transport them to where they are needed or where they can be processed or excreted. The third function of albumin is for buffering the pH. So albumin helps to buffer the pH of the blood by maintaining it within a narrow, healthy range. And finally, at number four, albumin is essential for binding free fatty acids. So albumin can bind free fatty acids helping to transport them in the blood. So to basically sum up the slide, we see that albumin is a type of protein that is usually found in the blood and is involved in several functions, including maintaining the oncotic pressure within the blood, transporting various substances, buffering the pH, and binding to free fatty acids. So what is an albumin blood test? So an albumin blood test measures the level of albumin in the blood. It is a routine test that is usually used to assess liver and kidney function, as well as the overall nutritional status of the patient. So doctors usually order a blood albumin test for three specific reasons. Number one, to assess the liver function. So since albumin is produced by the liver, Low levels can indicate liver disease or damage. Number two is to assess kidney function. So this test can help identify kidney problems. So if the kidneys are damaged, they might not filter albumin properly, leading to its losses in the urine. And the third reason why doctors may order this test is to assess the nutritional status of the individual. So albumin levels can reflect the nutritional status of the individual as low levels might indicate malnutrition or a problem with protein absorption, such as in cases of Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. So now that we know what the albumin blood test is and why doctors might order this test, let's talk a little bit about the normal ranges of blood albumin. So a normal blood albumin level for a healthy adult is 3.5 to 5 grams per deciliter of blood, which can also be expressed as 35 to 50 grams per liter of blood. So lower than normal levels of albumin is called hypoalbuminemia, and it means a range below 3.5 grams per deciliter or below 35 grams per liter. High levels of blood albumin, on the other hand, is known as hyperalbuminemia, and this means that our patient's range fell above 
5 grams per deciliter of blood or 50 grams per liter of blood. So what are the specific causes for abnormally low albumin levels or hyperalbuminemia? At number one, we have liver disease. So conditions like liver cirrhosis or hepatitis can reduce the albumin production, leading to abnormally low albumin levels. At number two, we have kidney disease. So diseases like nephrotic syndrome can lead to albumin loss in the urine which means we will have abnormally low levels of albumin in the blood. At number three, we have malnutrition. So insufficient protein intake can lower blood albumin levels, meaning our patient will be suffering from hypoalbuminemia. At number four, we have chronic inflammation or infection. So conditions causing prolonged inflammation in the body can reduce blood albumin levels. And finally, at number five, we have gastrointestinal disorders. So conditions that impair nutrient absorption, such as Crohn's disease or celiac disease, can also lead to low blood albumin levels. So these are the basic five causes of abnormally low albumin levels or hypoalbuminemia. So now let's talk a little bit about abnormally high albumin levels or hyperalbuminemia. So the first cause is dehydration. So this is one of the most common causes of elevated albumin levels in the blood because dehydration can concentrate the blood leading to a pseudo high or a fake high albumin concentration. And at number two, we have other conditions. So high albumin levels are less commonly associated with specific diseases but could be a sign of chronic conditions affecting fluid balance or protein levels. So as we have just seen, the blood albumin test is a valuable tool in diagnosing and managing various health conditions and providing insight into several critical aspects of health. It provides insights into liver and kidney function and also assesses the individual's nutritional status and fluid balance. And that brings us to the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with some of your friends in the medical community or anybody you think might find this video helpful. So I've also just signed up for Buy Me A Coffee. So if you want to encourage me to do even more or to say thanks for all the free information you've received on my channel today, you can buy me a coffee by clicking down in the description box below for the link to do so. So take care and have a wonderful day further. Bye for now.